All right, so we missed another weekend of being able to get my engine from the machine shop. Talked to them yesterday, which was Friday, and they will have it to me on Monday. So since we can't be working on the engine, we are back at the good old stomping grounds at Brent's parents, and we are getting the lawnmower lowered in the rear. So right now we're gonna swap out the tires. Ditching our idea of rotating the axle. We're now just going to run a pulley to a shaft through a carrier bearing to another shaft through the center, and we're just going to suck the axle up as high as we can and uh, just have to make do with that. So, anyway, we're going to make this work because that pulley, if we were to reverse it, is going to hit right there, which causes a problem. Warm? <sighs> Marvin <laughs> with the Carolina squat. <laughs> yeah, my thought was we'd cut it. Nest it up in there and just run a sharpie through the existing holes. We're cutting what, eight inches off? Eight inches. Well, we're saving the bottom eight inches. I guess the ultimate question becomes, are we still gonna have material where the new hole has, the to, new be. Hole has to be? trying to hammer it in it literally just slides in and rotates boom thing of carry bearing done now we need to figure out where on it is going to go and then we can figure out a new bearing setup or pulley setup then we got to measure for belts but that's down the road so big thing is everything that needs to be welded out of the way because we don't have the welder at either of our houses so, so we kind of got to 
new bracing set up for the frame. Carrier bearing's gonna go over here. It's very hot, so I'm trying not to touch anything. Again. Again, yeah, I already burnt my freaking hand like an idiot, not thinking. So, yeah, the big thing is just making sure it's, well, honestly, it can be on an angle. It really don't matter. The biggest thing is we want it straight shot from there to there. Cool. How warm is that plate? Huh? How warm is that plate? I don't want to. <laughs> so I'm thinking. It's never a good thing when Vinny starts thinking. Alright, so you know how we remove those other pulleys? Yeah. We might have to put them back. Put in. another one in for. Because we have to go around the steering post. Otherwise, we have to undo. Oh, the so we got to make it go wider. Every time we do a belt, basically we need to be able to divert around, around and back to. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because. Yeah. Shit. Didn't well, we still have them. Yeah, we still have them. I didn't think about it till just now. So we still kind of need to run that old system. Also, I noticed this, like, switch right here. Yeah, because any time you start it, you got to depress it, the brake with your foot. Uh, so we're going to delete that, close it. It'll always think, so you can just step, hop on and start it. Yep. Between that and the, the safety switch on the seat. Yeah, so we just need to make sure that button's always depressed. Cool, so we got the carrier bearing set up. We took the diff out because we needed the mark controller holes. So we'll put that on, put the diff back on. Oh, I'm gonna get disassembled again to get Oh, multiple at some times. Point, now we gotta measure our uh, all thread so we can figure out our transfer pulleys. It's coming together. It is coming together. I mean, look at this factory framework. It's basically factory. I mean, all in after like the bearings, the new pulleys that we got and the stuff for the front end, we're maybe 120 bucks into this whole project. So we pretty much just use the Cub Cadet and just re-engineer everything. So for anyone who's maybe confused what we're doing, this is so that this pulley goes to the transaxle. The bearing rotates the two, so we got equal length. I think they're both two and a half or three and a half inch pulleys. And then this pulley is gonna feed through the system back to the engine. And that way we still get a one-to-one -one ratio there and we can change our ratio on that one or that one. Um, but this is our way of lowering the transaxle without doing the whole weird flip thing we are gonna do. So this is gonna work out pretty well. All right, so we're back at Brent's. Uh, Saturday was miserably hot and muggy on top of the fact that we're in JD's shop where we don't have any of our tools anymore. And I forgot the battery charger, the GoPro batteries are dying, we ended up filming on our phone. All in all, it was a long day. It was a very long day, but we got this figured out. We did realize that we need to reinforce the frame. When we had the body on it, we didn't realize that these welds here and here are pretty much the only thing holding it together. So we got to add a little bit more reinforcement to the frame. So it doesn't fold in half on us. Yeah, we figured out how we're going to keep this stationary. That way it stays even with, you know, the pulleys. Uh, we are going to downsize this pulley and upsize the front pulley. That way we can get a faster speed out of it. But all in all, uh, a lot of progress made. The fact that we actually have it lowered, stanced, and like we can actually roll it around now. It's open, but there's actual movement now, which is good. So uh, just one step closer. So definitely reinforcing the frame, getting this locked in, and then we will get new belts. So uh, we'll have to figure out our electrical. Uh, we are gonna run a battery up front. We're looking at making it so that we can run it off Milwaukee 
18 volt, yep. M18, some M18s would be sick. That way, all we need it to is to start it. So look at running off some M18s. So we'll show you how we do that. And I don't think we, we don't really have a shot of it. We got the like tires that. on. It was way easier than we thought. So there's kind of the finished, not finished yet, but a more final view of what it's going to look like. Sit, as you can see, we've got this trimmed up. So that way it uh, won't rub on the tires. We didn't have to take too much and kind of lose some of the structural. So you can see our other line where we were going to cut. So we're able to save that. Um, yeah, so hit that subscribe button. We get to see this thing running very soon. I know I've said it almost at the end of every video recently. The engine's coming soon. I was supposed to get it back on Monday. Here we are Wednesday. Still no call from the shop. So. Oh yeah, you were supposed to. Yeah. They fucking suck. Uh, I will never take it there again. I don't even remember the fucking name of the place, but it's up in Flint. Won't go there again for any future engine builds because they have been terrible about giving me any kind of timeline. Like, I'm fine if you're busy, but give me an actual, like, date. Don't keep saying, oh, next week or, oh, Monday or, oh, Friday, and then three weeks later, I keep calling. So we'll have the engine back hopefully here soon and get it back in the truck so we can put that turbocharger on. So if you wanna see any of the truck videos, go ahead and click right here. If you wanna see a video of everything else for Lawnmower, click right here. I'm Vinny with Caswell Customs. Brent. No.